Hey everyone! In this DIY, I'm going to show you how to make 7 different crafting tools. I will show you how to make different stamps, cutters and dotting tools and you can find everything you'll need at home. These crafting tools are super easy and really fun to make and you can reuse them as many times as you need. I'm sure there are lots of other tools you can create but in this video I wanted to give you some inspiration what you can make. A cheap and easy way to make your own stamps is using rubber. Make sure your rubber is not old otherwise it might be too dry and will break. Divide the rubber into small squares or triangles and then start drawing on the shape of your choice with a pencil. Then cut out the shape by using an exacto knife and while doing that make sure you only cut into the rubber for a few millimeters. If you have that flip the rubber to one side and cut out the excessive rubber around the heart. And then you can remove it. And you get a heart shaped stamp. You can always adjust the stamp if you notice it's not even. But this is a great way to use rubber in order to make cute and fun stamps for crafting, scrapbooking and just for enhancing your stationary things. You only need to make sure that you don't use old rubber or otherwise your stamp will be too brittle and break off. But you can also use any pencil with a rubber on the end. For this project you only need to draw on the shape of your choice and remove the excessive rubber around the shape as I showed in the beginning. And again, make sure that the rubber is not too old. And you get a pencil and a stamp in one. These stamps are great if you need small and cute stamps for enhancing something and it's very handy as well. Another fun way to make stamps is to use kitchen sponges. You only need to draw on the shape you want and repeat the same steps as I showed you in the beginning. It's a great way to make big stamps with a nice texture. You can use these stamps for enhancing boring tote bags or book covers and you can create them in any shape you like. If you work with polymer clay or nail designs, you sometimes need special dotting tools. But you can make your own dotting tools by using a pencil with a rubber on the end and a head pin. You only need to stick the pin into the rubber and you already have a dotting tool. You don't necessarily have to use a pencil, it's just easier to hold and use it like that. You can use these dotting tools to create eyes on your charm or you can use it for a special nail design. But if you don't have any head pins, you can use bobby pins and paper clips as well. Just bend the bobby pin or the paper clip so you can use the ends and you can use them as dotting tools as well. This way you can create nice dots but the less color there is left, the smaller the dot is going to be. And if you work with polymer clay and want to create a special pattern on it, you can make your own modeling tool with polymer clay. Therefore, apply some polymer clay to a toothpick and shape the clay in any shape you will need for your project. Then bake it and glue on the baked clay to the toothpick with some super glue so it won't fall off and you have a nice clay modeling tool. And if you have pencils with old rubber on it, you can now use them to create small cutters. For this project, remove the rubber from the metal connector and remove it from the pencil using pliers. If there's still some rubber left inside, press it out. And now you can shape it into a heart or a star using pliers. This is a great way to make small cutters if you would like to create small polymer clay hearts or stars but you don't want to spend money on buying them. I think shapes like heart or triangles are easy shapes to start with. Then you can go ahead and try out shapes like stars, cherry blossoms or butterflies. It can be a little tricky at first but the cutters turn out really cute and they are fun to make. And that's it! These were 7 different crafting tools ideas you can create yourself. These tools are really easy and fun to make and you can reuse them as many times as you want. I hope you enjoyed this DIY video. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you would like to see more easy DIYs. Thank you for watching and see you soon.